Howdy. You catch us here at the, uh, the mountain pass, just beyond the snow gates. Even though I was going that way, so I haven't passed the snow gates yet. I just saw this, well, this lay-by here, and what a lay-by it is. <laughs> it is quite the size, isn't it? There was uh, obviously more down there, but that's been blocked off. There's been none of that. I think this was just an old logging slash forestry road. I dare say it probably goes off down that way, and that's the turning point. And then loads of people in camper vans and things, um, yeah, so that happened. I want to show you as well while I'm here, do you like my wide body kit that I installed? So let me, let me first show you what it's supposed to look like. See, nice and smooth, you know, lines up beautifully. Now let me scooch around the other side, like I say, I'll show you my wide body mod. Look at that. So yeah, you install the wide body, and then you can get chunkier, wider wheels and tyres on, so... Big chunk! I opened the door uh, when it was very windy. Around about 80 90 km an hour winds. The wind was coming from behind the van, and I just opened the door and let go of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can imagine what happened then, with 90 km an hour winds. They picked the door up and fucking yeeted it right into the body frame. Right into the fender. The old forest, yeah? Definitely looks like someone's trying to drive there. <laughs> you know, I, I always like to think that um, these places get like the stones and things put across them because the farmers, and like, not because it's like, oh, you know, we hate campers, or, you know, don't like motorhomes and all of that stuff. I like to think. It's because farmers and things are just really over having to like tow out random camper vans and motorhomes from shit like this, and people just fucking send the, send their vehicles into the into the bush. Oh, anyhow, I might stay here. I'm only about six minutes from where I was going to stop anyway, so I thought I may as well stop. It's really good internet here, as you might imagine, on top of the hill. And uh, it shouldn't be very windy. I know it's winding now, isn't you? But it shouldn't be very windy at all uh, overnight. I think at most it gets to about 40, 50 kilometers, uh, kilometer an hour gust. So I'm not, I'm not that fussed with that. I'll tell you what, I was wrong about the uh, being an old forest service road or something and heading off down here. Now it just does look like it's uh, either a big turning point or like a viewpoint. And I can honestly believe that this is a viewpoint. And the intention was to have cars parked all the way along here. Maybe you head down there, go for a bit of a walk, you know? See what's what? <laughs> it's a summer only track, that one though, isn't it? Whoa. I've just had a bit of wind uh, hit me and it's quite cold. And then I remembered, oh yeah, we're on the top of the hill, on a pass, where the snow gates are. So, yeah, I think I might not stay here tonight, because it's supposed to be a bit of a chilly one tomorrow. And you know, I've got my dodgy glow plugs, so I try not to start the van in the cold. That place with the mystical forest and the wind turbines, um, I stayed there for two days, and I was going to stay there today as well, but just felt like a bit too long of one spot, you know, with a, I think it was like six or seven houses on the road I was on, like nowhere near me as you saw, but yeah, small community, you know, they noticed a van staying there for, you know, two, three nights in a row. Hey, have you seen this bad lad? It's one of them trees that I like. It's like the only alive tree, ah, oh, damn it, there's some more alive trees. You can see what I mean, this is an absolute tree graveyard up here. I wonder if it's forestry or like forest fire um, reduction and things like that. We've still got the trees alongside the road to try and catch any uh, vehicles that are just fucking eating themselves off the, off the road. And then you've got the actual proper escape lanes for when the big vehicles, the heavy goods vehicles, are eating themselves off the road. <sighs> Look at these stones. So stony. Oh yeah. Why did you decide to drive past and then stop and then reverse? At 11pm. Oh, yeah. Lights off, eh? Lights off. 
I'll see how it is. I'll see how it is. Oh, that's not sketchy at all, not like, not sketchy at all. In case you didn't pick up on the sarcasm, uh, this is a dogging spot, so that's why there's cars appearing at night. Getting a bit excited when they see another vehicle and then getting a bit disappointed when that other vehicle isn't accepting their uh, advances, their little flashes of the lights. Alright, let's leave the steamy van behind, head into the forest. Hey, it's looking canny already, isn't it? I'm not even that far into the path. I think it's about three kilometres this walk. We're going to see an old monument. You know, I've just been... Oh, here we go. I had a feeling this was going to happen, which is why I turned the camera on. I've got a little bridge over a gorge. Bridges over gorges on. Oh. We're not my strong point, let's say that. Um, however, considering I'm going back to another gorge tomorrow, um, I think I should, I think I should try this. Alright, that's the bridge. I'm gonna get myself across. The gorge is nothing like the one tomorrow. It's still probably gonna be quite scary, but uh, let's give it a crack. Here we are. It's not too bad actually. I'll stand here, I'll show you. There's like a mini version of the one tomorrow. This is higher than the one um the one over the river to South Tyne. I uh, I'm not actually sure why I'm not terrified. Not at all. Hey, I haven't really recorded this walk much because uh just me breathing, you know? But it is a beautiful walk through the old woods. So, yeah. As is the case with most monuments, it's on the top of a hill, so doing there, it's a lot of uphill action. Oh, well. It's the first signpost I've came across. To the monument, avoiding getting ran over by forest service with trucks. There's the breathing. The breathing's back. Yeah. I ended up taking the hat off. I just think I'd just let my hair get wet. Because I'm going to wash it anyway. Where after this walk, I can't walk and fucking talk. You know, I'll probably just catch it at the top. <sighs> See us. I think that's the last hill to get there. But I'm, uh, I took this little trap because I saw this little lock. See what the crack was. Looks canny, doesn't it? Check out some of those views through the trees. Ah, just being warned about some passing hikers. That is a big deal at the top here. They yeah, basically as soon as I pass them, it's not getting me. Look at the views though. The catches at the top. Not too bad at all, is it? Not too bad at all. One of these pretty migration sounds in it here. The phone can't decide whether it's got liquid in the USB port or not. Here we are. The old monument. At the top of the hill. I'll tell you what, it's something like. You can see you up close to it. Here's the wind. I can hear it rustling. 
Any little one you went that like. Step back so we can have a proper look. Look at that. What a beast. in pockets after this like me back at the car park well, it was quite a nice walk that especially the way back I'm not drenched with sweat well I am but that's because of the walk up uh, but like I say I've just been walking with me hair out getting it all wet because I've got myself uh, a very exciting date planned and I'm gonna have myself a wash have myself a shave Wash me hair, you know, good looking all dapper, and then just go full excitement. What's that under the van? Some sort of rubbish. <laughs> ah, just a leaf. Big chunk. Most